Genesis, you need to get back here now. It's about Claudia Zamora. What? What are you talking about? Gia, I know. Okay, I know. And I need you to get back here. So can you please come back? Amani, I... Hello? Amani? Hello? Is... everything all right? I don't know. My phone just went crazy and hung up. It's like the second time today. Well, maybe stop carrying around 2005 burner phones. Seriously, I will still kill you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I didn't mean to offend. Mm -hmm. So, what's your real name anyway? G? Gia? Genesis? Genesis, Irene, Andreescu. Gia. Mm -hmm. And Genesis, as you know, means the beginning. I am, however, not too fond of a name that means beginning when every time I turn around in my life, everything good just seems like it's ending. Well, they could have named you Apocalypse. I mean, that would have been pretty sweet, right? Yes, it's almost as sweet as your high school email is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... Caramel Romeo 18. <laughs> really though, guy. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I, I, I deny everything. Yeah. I deny everything. Mm -hmm. That yeah. didn't happen. No, Romeo, Romeo, the things you find out when your friend is a computer guru, huh? <laughs> okay. This is really weird. So I'm trying to call my money back, but I can't dial out on my phone. It's like I'm being blocked every time I try to reach her. Wait, Gia. You said that you can't call out? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I can't call out. <gasps> Nothing. I can't call out. Are you good? Okay, Gia, what's the last thing that Amani said to you? Something about me needing to go back to lab? Alright, I think we need to go back then. Like, I, I think we need to just wait, get up wait, and go, wait, wait. Get up, go back on? to the lab. What's going on? <laughs> Three months ago, Cam, Mercy, myself, and Dan- Daniel? <laughs> yeah. Well, we all had an all too familiar experience similar to what's been going on these past few days, and it did not end well. And I really think that if Amani is calling you and telling you that we need to go Wait, back to the lab, whoa, whoa, then we need to get whoa, up right now and down, go back to the Brandon, lab because if down. we don't- Hey, stop. Let's go. Um, did you find anything? Um, yeah. Yeah, I oh, did. Oh, what is it? Does it have anything to do with my mom? Yeah. Anything you tell us would definitely help. I was wrong. What? Oh, wait, what do you mean? Your friend, Brendan. What do you mean? What about Brendan? These readings show that he definitely was exposed to that at first, but he has nothing to do with it. Honestly, I don't think that boy knew what he was doing or what he was getting himself involved in. Because if he did... He... If he did what? What would happen? He would know that he was next. What? Next? What? For what? G. Yep, that's me. So, 
What's going on? I, uh... You call. I did, but you hung up on me. Nope. I didn't. There was this weird screeching noise and the call then just... Wait, how did you get the number of my burner phone? Girl, come on, this is what I do. <laughs> Look, Genesis... I'm sorry. You know I'm really pissed at you, right? Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, I think we got some more important stuff to work on, right? So, let's go. That's my girl. And we're gonna talk about this little situation later, though. Nah, I'm good. Really? Even after everything Amani just said? Look, Cam, take it from me, okay? You really gotta hold on to the people in this life that are important to you. You just, you never know what will happen. So, you don't think I'm the devil anymore, or? No, Mr. Carla, I don't think you're the devil anymore, because the devil would not dress like that. But on a serious note, I think you should see this. Matter of fact, y'all all should see this. What is it? What did you find? Just give me a second to get it pulled up. What are we looking at exactly? Keep waiting, Brendan. Hey, look, Cam. Um, I'm sorry, man. I messed up. I mean, as you know, I can be a real douche at times. Yeah, that is true. He's not lying. And that's on me, right? But right now, I think that we all have bigger things to deal with. But I'm sorry, Kim. I really am, man. You know what, Bren? You back to classmate status for a long time, because boy. <sighs> Take it. Okay, what's that? That's what I was meaning to show y'all. Buckle up. So, I discovered that your exposure to that program was something that you willingly or carelessly just opened up. Okay, hurtful, but continue. S so you signed up for a coding class that was sent to you via email, but that was not a coding class. Just leave the computers alone, man. Oh my God. What you actually ended up signing up for is to be a test subject in the next test. undisclosed Sigma program. A test what? subject? What? What? Shh. What did you say? She said test subject. I don't want to be a test Sweet. subject. What you came into contact with after downloading what you got in that email was never supposed to exist. What the hell is that? What? Wait, what was that, that money? So after being able to break into their database for only a short amount of time, I was able to see what they were doing with my cousin's research. With his creation, you see, he created a memory loss and a restoration prototype that was designed to reverse the process. Wait, my mom, she, she experienced that M memory loss? Which? Brings me to my next point. Mercy, once Sigma got a hold of Michael's research, they began the fast track on an experimentation phase. And 
they begin experimentation on on your mother. What? Our mother? Why our mother? Why? Mercy, she went into that program willingly. She legitimately thought that it would help her get better. Records show that she went there to get better for you. What Sigma did with this technology after, they created a super AI that's capable of uncharted levels of memory, calculations, and God knows what else. I mean, it's able to think and evolve at a level that's beyond us. And it's been growing on our noses this whole damn time. So, how do we stop junk like this? We don't. What? what? We don't stop. What? What? You, what? what? what do you mean? Y'all talking about destroying something that's equivalent to a small universe of data. It's learning to exist off itself. What the hell did Sigma do? It was like a kid playing with a bomb and then boom. A super algorithm. What? An algorithm, right? Isn't that what that app was? I mean, and the definition of an algorithm is the group of connected calculations used to bring about the desired outcome or result. Guys, think about it. That night? Yeah. Yeah, I remember you talking, talking about it. And then everything just went to hell. It was like, something wants to get out. And th that's when I started getting those weird messages from my mom. Exactly. Because something is playing us. I mean, guys, does anybody even remember downloading it? Something in that app or program is targeting us. Guys, it knows us. Wait, but I, I don't get it. Why us? And why would it use my mom like that? Because she was trying to warn you. She was trying to warn me. When I saw this signal spike occur on the readings more than once, I thought it looked oddly familiar, so I compared it to others and was ultimately able to find an identical match, which was an audio recording that perfectly matches. Matches? Matches what? What does it match? Claudia Zamora. That's Mercy's mother. Why does it match Mercy's mother? Mercy, this level of signal spike occurred on the night that you tried to commit suicide three times. Your mother is somehow connected to this thing and is able to break through for short amounts of time. Times when you're mainly in danger. Yeah, I think she was trying to reach me too. That night, you know, I... I got this weird phone call from this screechy voice, but it just it sounded just like this warped voice. Hello? Don't touch it. Please, Don't touch it. And then on the day in the cafe, something just got on my phone and ordered a vanilla latte with extra cream. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, you're saying that my mom is still alive? Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. What the? I am. How was her How the hell is that possible? What 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 are you talking about? Mercy.
Brandon's not opening! Come on! Help us! Somebody help us! Push! Oh. It's not working! Push! I knew it. Come on. Let's get it. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created man in his image. And ever since then, man has been trying to be God. We now find ourselves at the mercy of our own creation, held captive by the allure of the blue light, the addiction and satisfaction of a click of a button or the swipe of our fingers. We're so willing to surrender all of our most precious memories and secrets feeding this monster of our own demise, feeding the algorithm. Whoever is out there, if you are listening, we did this. We are responsible. There's blood on all of our hands. We carelessly give Sigma our freedom and our souls as they profit off of our desires and pain. But will we lay down and give up? No. We will rise, revolt, and be victorious. And we won't stop until we are truly, truly free. This will be the last podcast from Cryptic Vibes. So for the last time, I'm your host, Gia. Truly asking you to look deep inside and be honest with yourselves and answer this question. Are you in full control? vibes. <laughs>